something went wrong. Well, welcome body odor sufferers, people who have TMAL, PATM, or you don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I welcome all of you to body odor vlog, I think number 14. Um, even the bad breathers, the bad breathers, the BBs. I welcome all of you, and I cannot give you any type of resolve, any t solution to your problems, but I can at least connect with you on this next episode as if it's a television show. Yeah, today's a Sunday. My mother's out doing, you know, at going to church or something like that, so I have like maybe like an hour or two to just make these videos. I, I, I'm going to make this vlog, and I'm also going to do two topics I wanted to do a long time ago, which was, uh, would money change? Would money improve our situation? And the second one was, are you into the Christmas spirit? Because at this moment, while I'm recording, it is December 2018. It's actually December 9th, 2018. Right, is anybody actually going to give presents to anybody? I don't know. I think I should put that on the, on a later topic or on the next video. I'm probably just going to go on my rant, talk about all the stupid shit I hate about Christmas. But in any case, let me just basically recap Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I did I did one on a set on a Friday, and I was talking about how I had an interview. Um, I had an interview for some type of company. But it's like a video interview. It's like, you know, you, I guess you do, it's not, I don't drive to a location to do an interview. It's just a face-to-face -face interview through a webcam. And they had a study guide I had to do. I had to look through the study guide in order to answer the questions correctly. I didn't study that shit at all. I had a week to do it. But I didn't do it because of the fact that I was, I'm always tired when I get home from work. And I don't want to study no shit. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go back fucking 12 years ago, like it's high school, and study for a test. Even though I know if I do pass, I might have a possibility of getting more money or getting a better job opportunity. But man, I'm, just, I'm too tired just studying stuff. So anyways, the reason why I wanted to go back on a Friday is the last recording. Well, that's not technically. The last recording I technically did was on a Saturday, but the last vlog I did was on a Friday. And that was an early morning Friday. So I'm going to tell you the experiences I had with the interview that I had on that 6.30. When I, when I got home from work, I got home at 4, which is very interesting because I usually leave at work at 5 and come home at like 6-something. It was like, for some reason, somewhere between 3 and 5, I don't even, I don't even know, like, any, once it hits three, man, the traffic takes like an hour and something minutes just to get home. Without, if it's if there's no traffic, it'll probably take like forty minutes to get home. But once it's like, once school's out for what, like I guess elementary school students and obviously high school students, you know the traffic's heavy. The, ha the traffic is very heavy. It's very congested. Someone's gonna get into some stupid car accident. So then that's going to be an extra 20 minutes added on to the usual commute. And it's just so annoying. But in any case, I left home. I left work at like 3 o'clock, which is very unusual. Got home at 4. At like 2 hours and 30 minutes to just do whatever. I ate food and went to sleep, basically. And that's what I did for the whatever. And then once it was like 6.20 something, I went on to the, you know, I clicked on the link to the email. Did the webcam interview. Webcam interview. I, she immediately came on to the screen, and it was like this Indian woman. I would say she was she was in maybe in her thirties, early thirties. She looked sort of cute, honestly. Um, you know, she had like a head. She didn't have a heavy Indian accent, but she had an a Indian accent nonetheless. And the test, um, the test wasn't really that fucking bad, honestly. She was asking me a lot of questions. I had a sort of understanding about, or I already knew, like in the first, I would say the, let's say there was about 10 questions. It wasn't 10 questions, but let's just say it was. I would say like 60%, 70% of them were like Java related questions or C 
Sharp related questions because Java and C Sharp had like some of the some of the same program syntax, like the same type of program structure. <laughs> so I could sort of answer them um, in, in my own type of way. I'm not really good with words, but I can answer my own type of way. And when I, I knew I was uh, at least on the money, is because when I started trying to explain it, she would nod her head in agreement. At least that's what I would assume, like, okay, I'm somewhat close to the answer. It wasn't like a right or a wrong answer. It's not like, for example, is, this is going to be stupid, is an apple red or blue? It's not like a yes or no question. It's just like one of those questions where just explain what this is. Explain what this means. Um, blah, 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 blah. And I think the majority of the questions I got pretty right and on point to the point that I feel really good about the interview. Actually, I felt really good about it. I thought it was, she was going to ask me a lot of questions I just had no idea about. And there were a couple of, of them that I didn't know. But at the end of the day, I knew the majority of them. So I feel like I have a strong possibility of going to the next step. And I think the next step is they're going to... If I get it, I will get like a response in like two days or something like that. Maybe on a Monday. It said two days, so that was a Friday. So it's either going to be on a Sunday or Monday. And more than likely it's going to be on a Monday because nobody works on a Sunday. And if I do get a message on a Monday, they're going to offer me some type of ability to go to their one of their like uh, training facilities. And there's supposed to be like a 12-week uh, training program that teaches you all the ins and outs of the technologies that need that they're going to use and then if I do that I, I pass with, with flying colors then I do another interview and if I pass that interview then I go into I work for some company and I get paid like fifty thousand dollars a year or something like that so um, there's a possibility that I might move out of Miami and I have, I have mixed feelings about it, honestly. You know, with this condition, with this older condition, I've learned to be a pessimist. I've learned to expect the worst. God damn, it's already seven minutes and 33 seconds. Shit. I've learned to expect the worst, so I naturally assume that I'm not going to get it, but still, there's still like a little part of me that feels like I feel like feels like I might get it and makes me feel good. It makes me feel like, oh, man. I might be moving on with my life. I might be going into a better place in my life because now I, I don't really like my job. I mean, yeah, I'm getting paid a thousand dollars every two weeks, two thousand dollars a month, way better money than I have ever made in my life. But I hate the commute. I hate the people there. <laughs> I don't really hate them, but I just hate being around people, basically. And I hate when people talk shit behind my back. So. You know, and I'm pretty sure even if I get this, if I do get the offer, people are going to talk shit beyond my back if I go to a training facility. I know they're training, there's like several different training facilities all across the country, and one is in Tampa. So if I possibly do get the job offer, I'm going straight to Tampa because I know I could drive there. It's like, it'll probably take me like five hours or so, five to six hours to drive there. And I'm cool. I, I, I'm cool with that shit because it's like, you know, if it doesn't work out, I can just drive all the way back. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to have the same job anymore. Um, and that's fine with me because, you know, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to stay at my job anymore. God damn it. I'm just really sick of the job. But yeah, it, it just gives me some hope. It makes me feel, it makes me feel pretty good. But I don't know if I'm going to get the job. I'm pretty sure there's probably like some audio popping sounds. I Actually, in my last video, I started, I detected a lot of popping sounds in the audio. Hopefully it's not as bad, but if it is, fuck, right? But I, I wanted to make this, this, um, oh shit, it's like almost 10 minutes. I wanted to make this short, but damn, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of things I haven't really covered. So yeah, there's a possibility I might get that job opportunity. If it does, that's great. I'm telling you like tomorrow or maybe on a, on a Tuesday, I'm going to tell you if I got the job or not, or job opportunity or not. But it felt like I had a chance. At least, it seemed as though she liked me. 
um, the interviewer liked me because she was smiling and she was agreeing and you know I don't I don't know if I say we have this just strong chemistry but it seemed as though she was very friendly and open and you know stuff like that so I don't know it just made me feel like there's a possibility that something might happen and if that happens then I'm just gonna that's this is gonna be like I think the last time I ever moved out of my house was like in when I was eighteen, when I was nineteen, and I moved to Florida A and University. So I haven't, and I came back at like two thousand ten. So that was like eight years ago. So I haven't, I haven't left this house in eight years, <laughs> basically on my own. So that if that does happen, I'll leave my house again after eight years, and hopefully I'll be able to endure. I I don't have a problem with, with like the training. I just have a problem with just working with people with this odor condition. Am I going to be able to go back to these training facilities every day and work with other people eight hours, even though I'm probably going to smell funky? That's the problem I have in my head. I, I don't have a problem with like learning, you know, possibly hard concepts because I'm I'm motivated. If I'm going to pay fifty thousand dollars a year as opposed to twenty four thousand dollars a year, which I'm basically getting paid right now. I'm with it. I'm, I'm motivated to fucking learn this shit and get it, get it down to a T and get it really in my brain. But don't want to focus on that 